I am excited to talk to you about what is called the RIASEC. The RIASEC was an exam that was developed by John Holland. What he wanted to do was to look at different types of personalities with different careers and see if there was different characteristics that much matched up with different careers. So I'm going to need your help today in order to find your personality types through this whole RIASEC program. All right. Now, what I'm going to need from you is this. I'm going to need a sheet of paper and a marker or a pencil, all right? So as you get that, I want you to go ahead and write down the letters R-I-A-S-E-M-C and then draw the lines right underneath. That way you have a total of six different columns for your RISEC board, okay? Now, we're going to play a total of six different videos. These videos are going to have power verbs and adjectives and descriptions that are going to describe each one of these characteristics. I'm going to need you to practice what's called active listening. So I want you to be actively listening for words that describe these different types of characteristics. After each video, I'm going to ask you to write down at least three words for the first column, then the second video, write down another three words for the next column, and so forth. Because after that, we're going to analyze to see which Bryasic code belongs to you. All right, are you ready? Let's go ahead and take a look at the first video. People who identify with the realistic theme see themselves as practical, mechanical, and active. They enjoy hands-on activities which may include working with animals, tools, or machines. In their spare time, they may enjoy activities including mechanics, gardening, hunting or fishing, carpentry, making jewelry, playing sports, driving vehicles, skydiving, or landscaping. You can often find people that align with a realistic theme in outdoor settings, in national parks, athletic facilities, farms or greenhouses, or in the military. Some of the greatest skills they possess include building and repairing, using tools and equipment, concrete problem solving, growing plants, and anything involving manual dexterity, public safety, and engineering and technology. They tend to value things you can see, touch, and use in their life, and often want their work to be hands-on, physical, and fairly active. At this point, you should have written down at least three words. Now, as I was watching this video, the three words that came to my mind were the following. Were the words mechanical, active, and then the words outdoors. Rather than outside, I heard him specifically say outdoors. Now, you could have even come up with other words such as engineering or problem solving, being that he did mention problem solving. You might be asking yourself, what's manual dexterity? Manual dexterity is actually when you're using both sides of the brain at the same time. A lot of piano players do that because they're using both their left hand and their right hand. So go ahead and make sure you have these words written down. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next Ryasek letter, which is known as investigative. All right, active listening. People who identify with the investigative theme see themselves as curious, scientific, and intellectual. They enjoy gathering information and analyzing and solving complex problems, particularly in the realm of math and science. In their spare time, they may enjoy crosswords, playing strategy games, researching, learning, attending lectures, conducting experiments, discussing books, or even bird watching. You can often find people that align with the investigative theme in laboratories, museums, universities, classrooms, medical facilities, libraries, bookstores, or at computers. Some of the greatest skills they possess correspond to complex problem solving, analyzing data, the natural and physical sciences, thinking abstractly, philosophy, statistics, and researching. They tend to value science and research in their life, and seek environments that allow them to feel intellectually stimulated. All right, at this point, you should have actively been listening and come up with at least three words that specifically stood out to you. Now, the three words that stood out to me were curious, scientific, and academic. These are the three things that people like to engage in. So think about it. It must be one of those situations where you like to not only problem solve, but ask questions. If something raises your curiosity, then 
there's a good chance that investigative may be one of your Riotech themes. Now, let's go ahead and look at the next Riotech theme, known as artistic. People who identify with the artistic theme see themselves as expressive, original, and independent. They enjoy creative activities such as art, drama, crafts, dance, music, and writing. In their spare time, they may enjoy photography, cooking, hosting events, dancing, making movies, painting or drawing, graphic design, decorating, crafts, learning languages, or traveling. You can find people that align with the artistic theme in museums, concerts, art galleries, theaters, music and art festivals, television studios, newspaper offices, restaurants, or in publishing companies. Some of the greatest skills they possess correspond to architecture, musical ability, foreign languages, culture, creativity, communication, media, or design. They may have strong artistic abilities and value the creative arts in their life, and tend to seek out environments that are less structured, conventional, or predictable. All right, thank you for actively listening for the words that we found within artistic. Now, the three words that stood out to me happen to be independent, expressive, and creative. Now, if you're the type of person that likes to travel, then that may be considered, uh, you might be considered artistic as well. But don't forget, you might like doing things that are pop culture, you might like looking at things that are original, and most importantly, you might embrace your own individuality. So if that's the case, you may very well be an artistic person. So go ahead and make sure you have all those words written down for artistic. Because now, we're going to dive into the next one, which is one of my favorites, known as social. So don't forget to actively be listening for at least three words. People who identify with the social theme tend to see themselves as helpful, friendly, and trustworthy. They enjoy helping people through supportive and nurturing roles in nursing, teaching, social work, or counseling. In their spare time, they may enjoy reading about self-improvement, volunteering, being a mentor, teaching, advocating for social justice, caring for children, entertaining, talking with friends, or listening to and giving advice to friends. You can find people that align with the social theme in settings such as healthcare, classrooms, places of worship, nursing homes, human resources, community centers, college and universities, or counseling centers. Some of the greatest skills they possess correspond to listening, psychology, counseling, spirituality, human development, first aid, social sciences, teaching and training, or building relationships. They are effective in communicating with others and empathizing, while often seeking out environments that allow them to directly help people and solve social problems. Okay, now that we've watched the, our social videos, the three words that stood out to me happen to be trustworthy, supportive, and empathy. Those three specific words are words that resonate with me. However, if you're the type of person that likes to communicate, if you're like the person that's very friendly, or if you're a very supportive person, or the things like being a nurse and helping people, or listening, or giving advice, if that's the kind of uh, word that stood out to you, you might want to consider that as one of your bias-set codes, all right? Now, we're not finished yet. We still have a few more to go through. The next one we're going to look at is enterprising. So again, don't forget three words that we're going to choose from there, enterprising. Let's watch it. People who identify with the enterprising theme see themselves as energetic, ambitious, and sociable. They like to lead and persuade people, sell things, and take responsibility. In their spare time, they may have enjoyed debating ideas, volunteered for a political campaign, done mock trial, joined the e-board of a club, thought about starting their own business, made speeches, or been a server at a restaurant. They also may be interested in following or investing in the stock market, or developing advertisements and promotions. You can often find people that align with the enterprising theme in government and politics, law firms, small businesses, marketing and public relations firms, broadcast media, newspaper offices, or in management. 
Some of the greatest skills they possess correspond to public speaking, negotiation, supervising, sales and marketing, management, leadership, or strategizing. They are effective in group leadership and persuasion and tend to seek out environments with opportunities for advancement or risk taking. Okay, hopefully you got your three words down. Now, the three words that stood out to me were the following. First on was persuade, and then after that, energetic and ambitious. Now, you'll see that some of these themes overlap with other ones. You'll see social, which is the code that we just looked at. So, sometimes they do intertwine. However, if there's other words or other things that you found yourself involved with or identify yourself with, Make sure you use those words as well, all right? If you find yourself in student council, peace patrol, or safety patrol, those are things you might want to consider enterprising as one of your strengths. Now, let's go ahead and move on to one of my favorite ones, the last one, known as conventional. Again, don't forget, active listening, let's see what three words you come up with. People who identify with a conventional theme see themselves as practical, orderly, and good at following a set plan. They often like to work in areas that take advantage of their preference for structure and systems, which can include working with numbers, data, or machines. In their spare time, they may enjoy charting family histories, building models, playing computer or card games, organizing collections, building websites, keeping track of finances, exercising, or programming software. You can often find people that align with the conventional theme in large corporations, financial and accounting institutions, network administration and technical support centers, or archives and libraries. Some of the greatest knowledge and skill areas they possess are organization, mathematics, accounting, statistics, computer programming, economics, charting trends, and finding patterns. They're effective with working with written records and numbers and tend to seek out environments that are structured, predictable, and call on their attention to detail and organization. All right, we did it. We watched the last video, and we were almost done with completing all these specific words that can encapsulate what we're looking for in the RISEC themes. Let's talk a little bit about the last one, which is conventional. Now, the words that stood out to me happen to be orderly, set plan, and building models. So if those are the things that attract you, or if specific characteristics, if you like routines, if you like seeing things being done in a specific systematic way, if you like numbers, if you like math, if you like finances, if you like looking at data or statistics, this may be one of the strengths that adapt to you. So now, what I would like for you to do is this. Look at all six columns that you just created, and I want you to Highlight and circle the top three categories you feel you identify with the most. All right? From there, I want you to follow the links that are provided within this lesson plan to potentially see which careers could possibly fit your personality type. I hope you've enjoyed this RIASEC lesson, and I can't wait to hear what your RIASEC themes are. All right. Now that we're completely done, your paper should look something very similar to this one where you have your columns and you have your words that you came up with. Now, I have all my words here that I came up with. Now, here's the thing that I want you to look at. I specifically highlighted and looked and looked at the different themes that I found myself identifying with the most. The one I really found myself identifying was um, investigative, because I consider myself curious, analytical, intellectual, also artistic, because I love being creative, I, love, I like being original, and I love my independence as well. And the last one, social. Why? Because I love helping people and looking helpful, friendly, and trustworthy. So my three RISEC themes happen to be I, A, and S. Now, what I would like for you to do is this. I want you to find your RISEC themes, and I want you to follow the instructions from this lesson plan in order for you to share them out loud. And at the same time, look at the different links that are available to see which type of RISEC codes and careers are available for you. Thank you so much for being a part of us today.